one of these three things on Instagram, you're killing your growth, your credibility, and your ability to build a business. My name is Lauren Tigner and my channel is all about helping you build a personal brand based online business. So naturally, social media is something which you need to dominate in order to do just that. And I think one of the reasons why people make one of these three huge mistakes is because of vanity metrics. It's because they want more likes, more comments, more follows, but they forget one thing. There are new businesses out there that can see these shady deals, which I didn't even know about until a company called Hype Auditor contacted me. And I used to work at an influencer marketing agency where every single day I would literally be vetting influencers to decide if they were a good fit to work with brands. Because obviously brands only want to work with real and legitimate people who have worked hard in order to build their following. So Hype Auditor contacted me and they asked me, Lauren, we'd love to give you a free trial of our tool for a little bit and then if you like it would you be able to share it with your audience and I tried it and I was literally mind blown and so with that said while I'm sharing these three huge mistakes I'm also going to be showing you how tools such as Hype Auditor can actually spot what you're doing and hopefully that is going to stop you from making these fatal errors and if you're a brand and you're wanting to partner with influencers and people who are on Instagram then this is going to be really really helpful for you too and if you would also like me to create an entire separate video how you can as a human actually see if someone is a fake influencer or if they're someone who is gaming the system and is potentially buying followers or something along those lines then make sure to smash that thumbs up because i'll share that if it's going to be really helpful for you so the number one mistake is bots i still get it to this day where people ask me hey lauren should i buy followers on instagram the answer is absolutely not now, a way in which I'd like to illustrate this is let's just say you're gonna spend $50 on buying some followers, okay, or some likes, or some comments, or whatever, and you're gonna pay this $50 and then be done with it. There's a trade-off there. You could either spend your $50 on that to get followers and likes and all that from people who don't even care about what your content is about, or you could spend that $50 on perhaps going towards having someone edit a video that you record nicely or putting it into savings in order to invest in a course that's going to help you actually grow on social media such as impact your social media which is coming soon by the way and you could also spend that money on getting a new phone or a new camera or something else that's going to actually add value to your business not only that but when you buy followers when you buy likes when you buy comments like I already mentioned, they are not from people who are interested in what you have to offer. So it's essentially just a vanity metric. This is the overarching theme here that I mentioned at the very beginning of the video. People do these things because of the vanity metrics. But vanity metrics don't increase your credibility from who it actually matters with, okay? So your ideal clients, your ideal followers. And you may be thinking, well, I don't wanna just buy followers, likes and all that. I'm gonna get a bot who automatically comments or who automatically follows and unfollows. I've jumped on a screen recording to show you exactly what people can see if they use something like Hype Auditor, okay? So if you go onto the page, you just type in the username and then basically you can see the score of the audience, right? But that's not the best bit. If you scroll down a bit, you can see growth. You can see if it's organic, okay? So my growth is definitely organic, but if, if you haven't had organic growth, then it will essentially say, oh, this person may indeed be using follow and follow or bots or things like that so people can see exactly whether you are organic or not whether you're real or fake so you do not want to be using bots because it's so transparent not just from going onto your page and seeing how to spot someone who is a fake and if you want a video on that make sure to hit thumbs up but also because of things like hype auditor and if everything is transparent now I've gone onto someone's page who has over 400,000 followers and you can see that it has flagged up and it said that they have a mass following pattern. So even if you've done this way in the past with your account, then there's still risk that this is gonna be showing up. So I can show you exactly what to do in a future video if you have used things like this in the past and how you can redeem yourself if you'd be interested. Be sure to drop that comment below, hit that subscribe button because I can definitely do that for you.
On the whole follow and unfollow front, I just want to also mention that let's say you get a DM from somebody who says, hey, will you follow me? I'll follow you if so. And then you follow them and then you start doing that with a bunch of people. You start following a load of people and then you're like, oh my gosh, I'm following so, so many people. And then you decide to unfollow all of them. That's really shady and that's going to damage your reputation. And when it comes to building a personal brand, you don't want to be doing this type of thing because it betrays trust. So you want to be building up trust, not just with the people who are your ideal clients, your ideal followers and all that, but also with people who are in your niche. Because if you get a bad name, people are gonna hate you and it's it's just, it's not a good life. So with that said, that's mistake number one. I'm only going to touch upon mistake number two very briefly because it's about using Linktree in your bio. My entire next video is going to be all about why not to use Linktree and what to do instead. So make sure that you smash the subscribe button because that video is going to help you whether you're a personal brand or a business brand in growing on social media so finally mistake number three what is it well mistake number three is engagement groups now hype auditor can literally see if your comments are likely coming from an engagement group now here's the thing of course if people are naturally getting a bunch of comments because their audience is super engaged and they really want to comment and they have those raving fans who comment often and that may get detected by hype auditor as coming from an engagement group for me that's the case because the hype auditor seems to think that i get too many comments on my post but i personally believe that that is just because you guys are super engaged and because i always make an active effort to reply to every single comment so with that said there are a few other reasons why I don't think that engagement groups are a good idea. The first thing is that it takes up so much time. I've been in engagement groups in the past and honestly, I would never go in them again because they take so incredibly long. And I know that the time that I spent in an engagement group, it's just a trade-off again. Just like when I spoke about the $50 for buying followers before, you could put that money towards an iPhone or something along the same lines. But it's just the same with time. Your time that you're spending in the engagement group, that time could go towards creating quality content that is going to add value you to your target audience and when you focus on creating quality content then that is going to naturally attract your ideal clients even though it might take a lot of time into the future and the engagement groups gives you instant gratification that we all want as humans it's not the best use of your time so instead of engagement groups focus on something like creating a content calendar so that you can then actually focus on creating quality content and you will get that authentic engagement because you're spending your time wisely. Not only that, but when it comes to engagement groups, engagement groups or pods, they often are a bunch of people who are all within the same niche. So that means that let's just say you're a fitness coach, then you'll be put into an engagement group with a bunch of other fitness coaches, which means that in your comment section, it's just a load of other fitness coaches, which means that you're likely to keep gaining more followers who are other fitness coaches rather than who are actually needing your fitness coaching help aka your ideal clients so this is problematic as well because when you have a bunch of other fitness coaches following you and someone comes onto your page and they see your comment section it's blindingly obvious because the same people are commenting again and again and again so let's just say you were a brand or you were another fitness coach who was kind of just like looking at you and seeing what you're doing maybe they wanted to invite you on their podcast to see if you're an authentic person they're just checking out your comment section and they see the same comments from the same people over and over and over again they may be put off actually inviting you onto their podcast or the brand may be put off actually doing that brand deal with you because the comment has come from the engagement pod and it's blindingly blinding obvious so I'm all about helping you grow on social media in an authentic and credible way while also learning how to sell on social media and in order to facilitate that I'm actually doing a totally free challenge it's gonna be the first link in the description box below and it's because it's spring right now it's gonna be spring cleaning your socials for success and if you're watching this after kind of like May 2019, then I also have a free workshop for you. That is an online workshop. You can watch it whenever it's good for you. So I'll leave that linked below as well. I'll swap that link out after the time goes on. So I really hope that this video has been helpful for you. And before you do the challenge or the workshop, I have another free gift for you from Hype Auditor, which is that you can get three free codes for Hype Auditor so you can check out three people. All you have to do is go to the pricing page and then scroll the page until you see have a promo code from friend, redeem it. And then in the redeem section, you literally just have to type in Lauren Tickner, all in capitals, and then click 
get free credits and then you'll have those free credits so you can check out firstly your own account i recommend doing that first for sure and then two other people who you want to check out and spy on to see if they're up to anything fishy so it's going to be super helpful if you're a brand again if you are someone who wants me to make an entire video on how to manually spot fake influencers then let me know because that could be kind of fun i don't know it's not normally what i post because i really care about collaboration rather than competition but yeah i mean i think these are important these things are important because like i said i used to work at an influence marketing agency and also as someone who sometimes partners with brands like what i'm doing in this video here today it's kind of frustrating when these people who have a fake inauthentic audience are getting all their brand deals and stuff like that because they've just kind of tried to game the system but thankfully tools like this are available now and thankfully i can use my platform to put this out there to help you not make these mistakes that some people are making and give you action plans moving forward the challenge will help you with that the workshop will help you with that so thank you so much for watching please hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye